hey guys a very good morning so welcome to another video um in this particular video i'm going to talk about what you can do with your gate score as in if you are planning to apply for phd programs for which institutes you can apply and what could be your possible or potential rank in which you might get a short list for the interview now uh, we have a lot of premier institutes um, for which you can apply based on your gate score but in today's video i am particularly going to talk about icers that is indian institute of science education and research and nicer okay and then uh, iits are you know almost everybody is quite um, familiar with iits that they do um you know call or shortlist candidates based on the gate score so i'll talk about iits in some other video now if i talk about icers um we have seven icers okay and among those um four three of them are now open for phd program for the august 2021 session so mohali's last date is 30th april 2021 and they are accepting candidates based on the gate score or gate qualification okay uh, then we have bhopal uh, for the for the phd program their last date is 5th april 2021 so you need to be careful and you need to apply quickly for this particular icer okay and then we have icer behrampur uh, for which um, it is 24th april 2021 Now, Icer Tirupati, Icer Tiruvanthapuram, and Icer Pune I have not opened yet. I mean, their applications for PhD program have not opened for the 2021 session, August 2021. And Icer Kolkata is not accepting, um, you know, candidates based on the gate score. Okay, so over here you cannot apply. You only if you have a CSR, UGC, UGC, JRF. Basically, if you have a JRF fellowship or any other uh, fellowship of your own, only then you can apply to that. And then we have your Nicer. that is in bhubneshwar um so for this the last date of application is 1st may 2021 and they are also accepting candidates based on gate qualification okay and then there's another really good institute which is indian institute of nano science and technology that is in mohali again um the, the last date to apply is 30th april 2021 and they are also accepting candidates based on the gate score now the or gate qualification now one particular doubt that you might have is um what kind of a rank do i need to have in order to get a shortlist from these icers first of all um i'm not sure if pune will be uh, you know accepting candidates on the based uh, on based on the gate score or gate qualification sometimes they do or sometimes they don't and even if they do the problem is that uh, they will you know uh, call only first 200 rankers or something of that sort okay they will put a limit so generally i am not sh- i am quite sure that icer pune would not be accepting candidates on the base of ba- on the basis of gate score and even if they would be accepting um they would call only 1 to 200 rankers or something like that like they will set a cut off whereas uh, going by the um you know the previous january 2021 phd applications for icer tiruvanthapuram and icer tirupati they would be accepting candidates based on the gate score now in general i have seen that iits are quite rigid with their rankings okay in the sense that of course there are exceptions but in majority of cases i have seen with iits that especially the older iits newer newer iits still call candidates with the rank of 1500 2000 2500 as well and beyond but um, with older iits i have seen that uh, they are quite rigid with their um, gate rankings like they will call only first 500 or first 1000 like that in majority of cases of course uh, other factors also come into the picture like for example some iits might ask for your research proposal or statement of purpose so yes some way is given to that as well but in general they they require top rankers icers are now competing with these iits okay as you could have seen from my previous video for which i'll give you the link over here uh, based on the research output in nature index icers are ranked really really high okay so they are competing with the older iits as well and they are far better than the newer iits so um in terms of the research output so um now the thing with icers is uh, that they are very um you can say accommodating uh, to your gate score or your rank so i know people in icer bhopal or my friends in fact in icer bhopal who have um you know who have got admission with a 2500 or 3000 rank and same goes with mohali also okay so i know for this t- and these two are the older icers so to say like icers in general are quite new but among the icers bhopal and mohali are quite older ones so uh, and they do Uh, you know invite or shortlist interview shortlist candidates 
with a rank of 3500 also okay so you can definitely apply for the, um all the icers okay uh, which uh, which have their phd application program open and same goes with nicer and inst mohali inst mohali again i have heard is quite choosy with what kind of rankers they would like to um shortlist but icers in general are quite flexible in that way and quite accommodating and they would um i'm quite hopeful um you know uh, shortlist you for the interview even if your rank is not that great so you can definitely if you have qualified the gate exam you should apply to all icers and you know um like i said mohali and bhopal are quite old amongst the uh, icers and behrampur is quite new so going by the trend generally newer icers have the funding from the government for the first 10 years because they're getting established um so they would be having their own institute funding and i guess um keeping that as a factor um they would definitely be you know shortlisting candidates for the interview even if the rank is not that great so definitely isa tirupati whenever it opens up and isa tiruvantaram puram whenever it opens up you should apply for them and behrampur of course it's open you should apply bhopal mohali also you should definitely apply and same goes with nicer inst mohali again i feel is choosy so you have to decide if you have one one two like rank between one two thousand you can apply to inst mohali even if you have a greater rank you you are eligible but again i have heard that they are quite choosy with the rankers that is my personal opinion i cannot say but what i have heard i can only tell you that wish you all the very best if you have any other doubt like how to write an sop or how to write a research proposal when you go for their applications some of them might ask about it so um do let me know in the comment section if you are having trouble in filling the application form uh, at some point also um so you can see i'll give you the links to all these applications like whatever applications are open right now ph for the phd program i'll give you the link in the description box so you can go ahead and check that out okay and one more important factor is that um most of these give the research areas of interest like for example inst has given its research area of interest you can see over here these are the research areas of interest so from here also you can get an idea on what are the um topics that that particular institute is focused on so anyway if you have any kind of doubt whatsoever in the application right how how to write a sop um you can let me know in the comment section i'll definitely try and make a video about it and if you want a similar video on iits it might take a little time because of course iits are a lot more as compared to icers um so i i, I will i will try my best to make a video on the iits as well Anyway, I hope you like this video. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I would kindly request you to subscribe to it as well. Um just think of it as a way to motivate me to make more such videos for all of you. So, I'll see you in the next video really soon. Hope you didn't miss my cute face in this particular video. Bye-bye. I'm teaching live on the Unacademy platform in the CSR UGC net category. where i'm taking both the free classes as well as the paid courses so if you want to get access to the free classes all you have to do is download the unacademy app and when joining the csi ugc net category you have to use the unlock code that is sethi this is absolutely free of cost and you will get access to all my classes while if you want to take the paid subscription or the plus subscription there is a subscription fee for that and if you want some discount on the subscription fee you can use the referral code sethi this will give you 10% discount on top of that you will also get access to the my whatsapp group where i frequently post a lot of updates related to exams and other things in addition with the plus subscription what all benefits you are going to get well you can watch all my sessions apart from that you can watch other sessions that are um, available from other educators in the csr ugc net category you will also get a uh, frequent mock test for the examination for your practice and some doubt solving sessions as well so if you are interested in joining the plus platform you can definitely check out the free classes first and then take a decision to take the plus classes do not forget to use these referral codes uh, this will give you a discount for the plus subscription and this code you have to use when you're joining the app to get access to all my free classes